I'm Dr. Branyan with New Hope Unlimited. As I was thinking about what topic I wanted to talk about today, I was thinking about what we had done just recently about the difference in remission and cure. Well, it is all the time when patients will come up to me or one of the other doctors and they'll ask, well, how fast do you think I'm gonna go in remission? On one aspect, it's a wonderful thing that they think there is a possibility they can go in remission because that is everything. That little train that could when we were little kids, I think I can, I think I can, I think I can, woohoo, I can. Well, you know, that works. So if there is hope, there is possibility, but not false hope. But so many times they'll ask, and on the other hand, I just want to say, you know, we all want you in remission, and that is the goal. We want you as fast as possible, but no one can say when you'll go in remission. I don't want to get people's hopes up, and we don't want to let them down, but at the same time, I do want to remind everybody that when, when they find out that they've got cancer. You are the same person as you were the day before or the week before. However, people all of a sudden go spiraling down because they've changed overnight. And I know that some people might not understand, but a lot of you do understand. And a lot of you family caregivers, you understand what I'm saying. It's important to know who you are. You are a magnificent human being that God created, and yes, I'm gonna use the word God, created. That supreme being made us in, the, in a way that we have an immune system that is supposed to be working good for us. But in today's world, it kind of slides a little bit because of our environment, what we eat, and, and so many factors that we could talk about, which we may one day. But depending on each person is when they will go in remission. No one can say, you're gonna go in remission tomorrow. You'll be in remission in a month. Oh, it may take you a year. No one can really say that. Um, if you're, it doesn't matter what treatment you're getting. If it's chemo, radiation, alternative, origination medicine, any of that, it, it just really doesn't matter. No one can say you're going to be on in remission on such and such a date. I wish we could, because that way we could handle things and be in better control, but it's not possible. But I want you to remember that when you are a cancer patient. You did not get that cancer overnight. That didn't happen overnight. So you sort of need to let go of any anxiety. Live every day the best you can with a hope and a prayer that every day your body is changing for the better, not for the worse. And Remember, it didn't come overnight, so there's huge possibilities. It's not going to go away overnight. doesn't matter what treatment. If any doctor tells you, you will be in remission within such and such a date, oh, you better be careful. Better be careful. I hate to tell you, but it's true. Only you will know for sure, but it did not come overnight. So don't expect it to be healed overnight. Now there is something called spontaneous remission. And I really do believe in that. Um, miracles happen all the time. And I like to tell all of the patients, you deserve one yourself. It's your birthright. Think about it. So if you want a miracle, think in that direction. Think in, think in the positive side but and try to keep your head out of the gutter. 
that doesn't help anything. But our goal with New Hope Unlimited is to get you in remission as fast as we can. And I'll tell you later on how we do that, what we do, the reasoning behind it, and all of that. It's just going to take some videos to get there. But I love to talk. Have you not noticed that? And I love to educate. I love to tell you what we've seen. We have seen miracles. We've done things at New Hope Unlimited that people say can't be true. We've done it and we've sent it to pathology to prove it because we like that proof. But I'm not trying to discourage you, but don't have so much anxiety. Just let your life be filled with hope and good things instead of worrying am i i'm not in remission after a week i'm not in remission after a month after six months maybe even a year everybody is different but i can promise you we have a great remission cure rate we do um and saying that i can promise you that looking back and talking to everyone they have a big thing in common. They believed their body could do it. They did not give up. They looked life in the eye and said, I want to live. I'm going to do what it takes. I'm going to get my head out of the gutter and I'm going to do it. I've, I've got nothing to lose, but I've got a lot to live for. Hope to see you soon. And we'll discuss more on how to get there. Thank you for being with us.